Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Paul Harding. I am the AMD Commercial Channel BDE, responsible for all things AMD here at Ingram Micro. Um, I'm happy to be back again as a part of our 10-part HP AMD Ingram Micro vlog series. I believe this is episode number nine. And today I'm excited. In the past, we've had a lot of fun as you've seen. Um, and we're actually gonna have some more fun today. We're gonna do another unboxing. And today's a little bit different. In the past, we've done notebook unboxings. Today, we're gonna be doing an unboxing of our HP 805G6 mini desktop. I'm really excited about this. We've got some great messaging around kind of the work from anywhere, work from home, messaging that are that is really just so prevalent and, and relevant, right? This uh, in times like these, in COVID times, where we're all working remotely, working from home. Maybe you're back in the office, but we're gonna have a cool unboxing today. And uh, you know, outside of that, I think we saw in a previous vlog episode that uh, you know I'm a new dad, uh, four months into parenthood, and I haven't slept a wink. So bear with me as we fumble through this, and uh, we'll have some fun. So I've got the desktop here. I just had it shipped to me. It is the 805G6 with a Ryzen 4000 Pro Renoir processor. Uh, one thing to note here uh, before we unbox is that our next gen Ryzen 5000 Pro will be coming out here in, well, depending on when this vlog episode actually releases, we'll see them um, right in that, you know, early October timeframe, give or take. So while this is the current workhorse and this is stout and relevant, there's even more good news coming down the pipeline, which I wanted to mention. All right, so here it is. This is the 805G6. I just cracked the tape on it. So let's take a look inside. And the first thing I noticed, and shame on me, I should have known this already, but uh, this actually comes with an HP keyboard and mouse, which is great. So you can ditch your old ones that probably stink anyways. Um, as we dig a little bit deeper, we've got you know the typical HP paperwork. We got the charging cable, and then the most important part, the actual mini desktop itself. All right, so this is the system itself. You know, first impressions are it's just very solid, beautiful construction, you know, like anything HP, right? And let me give you a quick look at the port count. So we've got, we've got a um, USB-C super speed, right? Up to 10 gigabyte signal, signaling rate here. Uh, we've got 2x or two times uh, USB type A super speed. Um, same thing up to 10 gigabytes a second signaling rate for fast charging. We've got the audio jack, we've got the power on button. And then here on the back side, you can see there's even more ports. So we've got 2x or two times the display ports. We've got another uh, USB A super speed. We've got two uh, additional USB A super speeds. These are five gigabytes a second right here. Um, and then right here, we actually have, now this is cool, this part right here, if you can see on the back, you can actually, this is a flex port, right? So there's options here, right? As you can see, we've got a USB-C here in the flex port, uh, which is another USB-C super speed port. And then to round it out, we've got another type A, USB-A, uh, we've got the power in, and then an RJ45 jack um, for, you know, running, uh, are not running Wi-Fi, right? So, um, and then up here, you can see this other section on the back. This is also uh, another flex port. This is a second flex port. So we don't have anything populated in this demo right here, but uh, you can have a type A, uh, you can have uh, VR ready discrete graphics up to 61 watts, which is wild. Um, I actually didn't even know that until just now. So that is really, really cool. Um, and let's go ahead and move on to setting this up. So I have the desktop set up. Um, whether or not you believe me, this really only took me about three minutes to set up, even fumbling through it, which I know this is a desktop. This is a mini, um, certainly not meant to be the most portable device, but look how small it is. Um, set up and next to no time flat. And I think another cool thing kind of off topic is, but I'm, I'm running this with uh, an HP USB-C travel monitor. Um, that just folds right up. So I was able to get this set up really quick, really easy. And I wanted to call out a few things um, about this setup and about uh, HP AMD real quick. Uh, so first and foremost, you know, with the 805 G6 mini, this supports up to seven 4K displays, 
which I, I find just fantastic. I'm running one right now, but we can run up to seven 4K displays on this. Um, once again, from an AMD perspective, these are running our Ryzen Pro 4000 series desktop processor. So this is the Ryzen 5 Pro 4000 configuration. Um, you know, on top of that, a few other things here. So I mentioned that uh, I, I mentioned that uh, Flexport slot where you can actually run discrete graphics uh, for things like media editing, analytics, or viewing VR on the gaming side, right? Which this is a VR capable setup here. Uh, from a manageability uh, perspective, it just actually has AMD Dash with uh, hardware KVM for Ryzen 3 Pro, Ryzen 5 Pro, and Ryzen 7 Pro. Uh, we have AMD Memory Guard inside of this, which is a built-in full system memory encryption that protects critical data. Um, we also have the HP Manageability Integration Kit. Uh, Gen 3 is a part of this, for, which eases deployment across your enterprise. And then of course, like any HP AMD systems, you know, HP is not gonna put their name and logo on it if it doesn't pass quality and durability standards, right? So this is mill uh, tested uh, up to 120,000 hours total HP test process. This is a ready to go machine. So I think that wraps up episode number nine of our 10 part HP AMD Ingram Micro Log Series. Uh, this was a fun one for me, you know, slightly off the beaten path, unboxing a desktop, our 805 G6 uh, Ultra Small Form Factor Mini. Uh, but I had a good time. I hope you did too. I hope, uh, you know, my uh, lack of sleep as a new father uh, wasn't too noticeable uh, in today's episode, but I'm kidding. I had a great time. Um, listen, you know, before... Um, before we wrap here, I did want to touch on a couple things. First and foremost, um, you know, please, if you'd like this at all, even a little bit, you know, click the like button and subscribe button below and thank you in advance. Um, also, our very last episode, episode number 10, will be coming out soon. And it is around financial services and additional value add at Ingram Micro. Uh, so I look forward to that one as a, as a fun wrap to this series. So please check that out. And in the meantime, uh, have a great day, week, and we'll talk soon.